welcome to another installment of Metallic Reviews, the show where I take an honest look at the harder, heavier side of music and give it an honest rating. Today, we're diving back into metalcore land and examining an album by one of those bands that were not really progenitors of the genre, but they're definitely not rookies either. Yes, it's longtime mainstays We Came As Romans and their new album Dark Bloom, released October 14th on Sharp Tone Records. Now, it's been a hot minute since their last release, Cold Like War, dropped in 2017. And Dark Bloom, as I was reminded by Kerrang! Magazine, is also their first release after tragically losing keyboardist slash vocalist Kyle Pavone. So have they funneled their grief into an amazing album a la Slipknot's The Grey Chapter? Let's find out. First off, this is metalcore for those who just love it. This is metalcore for those who live for metalcore. There aren't seismic shifts in genre or style here. It's extremely straightforward in terms of songwriting. Breakdowns stack on top of breakdowns. Soaring choruses populate the majority of the record. You get the whole kit and caboodle here. Lead vocalist Dave Stevens spearheads this particular charge. Backing vocals courtesy of lead guitarist Joshua Moore and bassist Andy Glass help layer things really, really nicely. All in all, this is one of the better vocal performances of the year, and I love the way that producer Drew Falk places them at the absolute forefront of the mix. You're not going to get away from the vocals on this record. Another strength of the album comes courtesy of the soundscapes themselves. Some of them are downright beautiful, flowing with the lyrics to create something both emotional and thought-provoking. Back-to-back songs, Golden and One More Day, follow this formula very well as Steven sings about the pain of losing his friend and his bandmate. There's a terrific balance on the album, though, as songs like those pull against heavy crushers like Daggers and Doublespeak. It helps the album flow like a river through this winding emotional canyon, and it's, it's, it's really, really well done. Sometimes it's deep and mellow, other times it's very rapid. Every piece comes together fairly nicely here. Speaking of heavy, there are one or two guests on here that really do a great job of completing things. Caleb Shomo of Beartooth fame guests on Black Hole, which is an absolute banger that calls back to his regular work again in Beartooth. He and Stevens work very well together, and I love the way that they each bring their unique style of clean singing to the table. Then there's rapper Rocker0936 guesting on Daggers, which answers the question of what would happen if Limp Bizkit, August Burns Red, and honestly Botch decided to write a song together. That's, that's the only thing I can think of to describe this tune. At the end of the day, having these guests makes both of these songs all the more better. But the most poignant part of the entire album are definitely the lyrics themselves. Now, I'm not going to say this is quite as emotionally stark as The Great Chapter, but it's definitely up there. It's also not quite as bleak, which definitely works in the album's favor. There's, there's a sense of hope flowing throughout the album. You might have to dig a little bit to find it, but it is there, both in the record's aura and in its soundscapes. Between Stevens' vocals, Moore and Lou Cotton's guitars, David Puckett's excellent drumming, and the overwhelming lyrical sensibilities, there is definitely a positivity to be found even in the midst of great tragedy. Now, that doesn't mean that their grief takes a back seat, but rather it is this that drives them to make metalcore that is this good. My one thing against the album is that it doesn't really bring anything new to the table, but what it does bring, it brings very well. I must say, I don't think I out and out disliked anything about the record. Eh, maybe one or two things needed to be tweaked here and there, but overall, it's another crisply produced, precisely crafted, breakdown-laden metalcore album. But when the context is taken into account, it brings the record to another level. We Came Up Romans have put out something to be very proud of, and I'm sure Kyle Pavone would be proud as well. I'm giving it a very, very strong four and a half out of five. Thanks for watching. Click like and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly metallic reviews. Next week, we continue our journey through crisp, well produced metalcore as we examine an album by a band that really knocked my socks off with their last release. 
In fact, they won Album of the Year from me last year with their album For Those Who Wish to Exist. Next week, they're going to try and defend it as we will be examining Architects' new album. Really more of a surprise release, honestly. The classic symptoms of a broken spirit. I hope you'll join me. You've been watching Metallic Reviews, where I give honest ratings to honest music. I will see you all next time.